Welcome everyone, this is your boy Dryden Matsuro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to CrazyBossV31, GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install your enable all interiors properly inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements. Once you have done that then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Next, download Lemon UI, and I will leave this inside my description below. But, this will only work if you download version 1.5.2. Do not download the latest version, so make sure that you download version 1.5.2. That is a big must, and it is required. Once you have done that, then we can get started. All you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Next, make sure that you go to your scriptography.net.ini file, and make sure that you change none to insert. Once you've done that, exit make sure that you do save it next if you do not have one make sure that you do create a scripts folder make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure that it is all lowercase open up your scripts folder as you can see mine is completely empty so let's get started open up your lemon ui extract folder then go to your shvdn2 folder and select all of the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Go back one, then go to your shvdn3 folder and select all the files inside that folder and drag it inside your scripts folder. Exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your enable all interiors folder then all you got to do is select all the files and folder and drag it inside your scripts folder exit out of your extract folder now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder then once you have done that right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and we are back as Franklin so as you can see my game has frozen and it says loading online so don't worry if that happens to you so once you're in the game then we are going to get started so there is one or two locations that I want to show you to give you guys a test that it does work so before you do anything in the game make sure that you pull up your phone then go to contacts then go right down to the bottom and then go to enable interiors now the very first thing that you must do okay say for example if you want to go inside your executive then make sure that you enable everything but to actually go inside the building you'll need the executive mod which I did not install so make sure that you guys do install the mods first before you go inside the building now, I'm just going to go to Musk Options. This is really important. This is a big must, so you must go to Musk Options. 
and now this is highly recommend you go to load MP maps and I'll change that to true next this is recommended go to enable blitz and change that to true now this is optional go to random color blips and change that to true now once you have completed those three then back out one then go to refresh material now go back out and now go on your keyboard and now press insert now your game will freeze for only a few seconds then it will come back like right now now there is one or two locations I wanted to show you guys now we are at the location over here which is this location over here and we are at the life invader so let's go and see if the well, doors open monkeys, well, what the hell ever, then? so yep this works so that, now we know that this location works now let's go to another location and we are going to go over here and go through this door usually this door cannot open so let's have a look Yep, this door can open as well. So there's multiple locations that you can go to, but there are some locations that you cannot go to because you would need the actual mod to get into the building. So, um, yeah, there are some locations that you can go to, some you cannot because you need the actual mod. Like the executive mod, you will need the executive mod to go into the building. But there is another way to get into the building. Um, if you guys wanted to know, then I'll show you, okay? There is another way to get into the building without using business mods. I'll show you. Now, just so for an example, this building over here is one of the latest DRCs, and you cannot go into the building because you will need the actual mod to actually get in there. So, the only way to get in there is to press F9, that's only if you do have menu, and then they'll go and grab Franklin, Hello. Yes. I'm and they'll to get fly of through the map over here. There you go. And now just find a nice place to use bottom, then there you go. And now you're inside the mansion, which is one of the new DRC mansions and etc. So yeah. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool, but um, that is how you guys do it. But unfortunately, you need the mod to actually um, make this work, okay? But I think HKH191 is releasing that soon, so, anyways, that is it, okay? So, I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. And we're back on our PC, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. So like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. Don't forget, okay, it is really well recommended that you download Lemon UI version 1.5.2. Do not download the latest version, otherwise, it won't work okay so make sure that you download 1.5.2 always remember that so with that said if you guys did enjoy the video you smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and i'll see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out